which is like pretty thorough. You answer a bunch of questions. But in one of the videos, you say, hey, this isn't just a bunch of mixture of movements mm -hmm. to get your heartbeat up. Yeah, and yeah. My, and when I, my, you know, my, even though I don't work at CrossFit anymore, my, my little fucking defensiveness for CrossFit popped up. Oh, are those shots at CrossFit Inc.? Like, I got a little defensive. I got. Yeah, a I can see that. I can see that. <laughs> why? Why? Why are you defensive? defensive? You don't work for CrossFit. I know. I know. Because. But, you know, because man, I don't want anyone. Sh I don't want anyone shitting on my ex girlfriend. You don't talk about CrossFit that way when Savon's in the room. You Yo, I wasn't talking. I wasn't talking about CrossFit. But if that shoe fits, feel free to strap that bitch on <laughs> and take her for a ride. <laughs> Listen, uh, I talk shit about you guys all week. And then for an hour to your faces. But if someone sends me a DM and says one bad thing about you, you know what I do? What's that? I, po I post it and agree. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. What, what I no, was, no one, what wants, I was no one wants anyone talking shit about like, it's okay if I talk shit about CrossFit. It's my, it's my girlfriend. But when I hear other people, I'm just like, eh, come on, man. Your girlfriend left you. No, bro. no, no. That, 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 that wasn't did a, the, <laughs> and fucked it wasn't, and it fucked wasn't a shot team. at CrossFit at all. Jesus okay. Oh. <laughs> no, it wasn't a shot at CrossFit at all. Like, it's not a shot at anyone. I'm just explaining what my programming is. And it's like, it's built out over months of progressions and laying down a good foundation and building like a good cardio base and a strength base and then mixing them together. Um, it's not like, I mean, I could throw a week's worth of programming together in five minutes of just like picking random movements, random reps and throwing them together. But you're not going to see progress off that. You know, you'll, you'll see it to a certain extent, but like there, there's a reason every sport in the world has tapering and, and cycles. And that's what I've done for the last however many years. It's not a shot at CrossFit. It's probably a shot at like all the other, you know. No, it's not people, a shot at anyone. There's, there's people it's, out there that are selling garbage. Like yeah, who? Like, no, it's, no, like, it's, there is. like who? Like who? I don't know. I don't know any oh. names. No, there, there are some programs that I've seen that I'm like, that's a great program. Like, yeah, yeah, keep right. doing your thing. Same. And I hope, I hope that someone will see mine. Like, my thought is, if someone's looking for that, like some people like the random, just spike your heart rate. You're a puddle on the floor at the end of the work. Some people like that. My program's not for you. Um, mine is like. You do some tests in the beginning, you use those paces, those weights, those percentages throughout the whole cycle. And then at the end of it, like there's some retesting. And I genuinely believe that if you hit it correctly, you're going to see progress. Um, yeah. So, I mean, it's just all tapering. It's, I mean, it's what I've done for the last six, six years, probably. I mean, it's know? what I did my whole weightlifting career. What do you know? Wait, tell me what's tapering mean. Tell me what tapering mean. I mean, like volume just coming down, your reps coming down, your weight going up, like you're just kind of switching over. It's what what you should be doing if you're, if you're trying to be competitive in a sport. What is your uh, what is your program going to be consisted of? Is it going to be um, everything? Basically, like if you want to be a cross is like, are you gearing it towards CrossFit competitors? Are you gearing it towards general purpose training? Are you gearing it towards it's, like, it's gear not towards? geared? It's not geared towards the top like one percent. Like it, it was programmed in mind that like most people have a full time job. Most people are in school or have something so they can't dedicate six hours a day into the gym. So like when I'm going through it, um, I think probably 90 minutes to two hours. Like if you like put your phone down, you're not like hanging out in between workouts. Um, but it's it's highly focused on laying down a good foundation in terms of strength, um, strength and cardio. What's yours? What's your, is that, what do you say about yours, Josh, the programming you sell? Where do you sell your programming, Josh? Josh hyphen bridges.com. <clears throat> so it's on my website. And, it's on my own, web, and, my own website. And, so I, and I have uh, four. Do you do your training? Do you do your own programming, Josh? Yes, I do. I do. I, yeah, I write it all. Yes. Um, but I mean, do you actually do it also? Yes. You follow your own programming? <clears throat> yes. So I do my, uh, but I don't, I like, so I have a competitive, uh, I have four, I have four different types of them, four different programs. I have 
uh, a competitor program, some someone who someone who's training for the CrossFit Games, who wants to be an athlete and, and the CrossFit Games. That's their goal, or that's the that's their goal in mind, right? Because training without a goal is pretty. You can do it, um, but it, you probably won't see a lot of progress unless you have some sort of goal, right? Then I have my military style program, which is I call it my military because it is how I trained to prepare for my time in the military, you know, for buds and SQT. And then also as a team guy, um, in the seals. And so I, I use that, I have that training as well. <clears throat> um, and that is also, so I call it the military, but it's a very, basically it's a GPP, right? It's a general purpose program. Um, it's going to make you fit for life. Uh, but it, it's the exact same style of how I prepared for my time, my time as a seal, um, which I, you know, physically felt, really really ready to go and i did a lot of homework i did uh i researched what i needed to do what i needed to prepare for um and then when training came it was the physical part of it was not the hardest part for me at least um and then i have uh, a couple other programs i have a fitness program that's more for people who don't really want to ha have a focus on strength at all um basically just body weight style movements endurance stuff like that um, and then I have a strength program that a buddy of mine, I actually don't write that one program. That's one program I don't write. My buddy Mason, who he's a power lifter. He pulls over 700 pounds, squats over close to 600 and benches like 400 pounds. He writes that program. So Jesus. he knows a little more than me about it. Yeah. It's a strong dude. Yeah. Are you, are you going to expand into that too, Matt? Do you, two questions. Do you do your own program? Are you going to do the workouts that you're programming, Matt? And are you going to expand eventually, do you think, to like different programs? Yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah. Um, to which one? Yeah, I mean, I'm bo to both. Um, I'm doing, <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm doing uh, all the programming. Like I want to test it so that when I communicate with, the athletes that are a part of it, I can, I'm not just winging it and be like, ah, oh, it should be easy or this should be tough. It's like, no, I want to know it. So like when they do it, I did it like a day before, two days before. So I can have a conversation to them about it of like how I broke it up, how I felt during it, all this stuff. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to expand. It was, it was a conscious de decision to not do more than one track right now, because this is my first time, doing this so i just want to get my feet underneath me with getting comfortable with it getting comfortable with the platform how am i going to communicate with all the athletes um just so i can like give a better product i wanted to like work out the kinks with one track first and then expand Pro probably pretty quickly but yeah down the road that's the same that's the same thing i did but like <laughs> i i started off with my competitor and my military style because those were two i two that i had actually done right and then yeah um, and very and familiar moved, with. and then right and then the, the next the two other ones slowly came in um and as it uh as it grew and and more people yeah. like more people were signing up we needed we needed the options for those type, for other styles of athletes mm-hmm is it a telltale sign that someone's doing steroids that once they're at the very top of their game, kind of like you guys were, and then all of a sudden, like someone showed up to the CrossFit Games and pulled deadlifted six hundred and twenty pounds, like like you see them, you see. Them